Hey guys, welcome back to Kent Car Media and episode two of Rob's Mazda Turbo build. Today we are carrying on from where we left off the other day. Heat shield's in a very sorry state, but um, did Rob get the bracket off? So you may remember episode one, if you haven't seen it, then go and have a look at that. Basically under here, where you see that meets the second part of the downpipe. There's a bracket that mounts this horrible bit to um, the gearbox, which is a nightmare. You can't really get a socket in there. And what I ended up doing was just through this gap here, take the wheel off, through this gap here, get an air hammer just to through there, and then literally destroyed it. Just went straight through the, straight through the middle screw, which you can see just through this gap. From underneath, it's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. Now everything is disconnected. I am hoping now that everything should, yeah, it feels a lot looser than it did before. I'm hoping I'll be able to just pull this out. So um, we just tried to take the downpipe off and the O2 sensor, which you can see just now. I think I've damaged mine, but it doesn't come past the chassis leg, basically. So we're gonna have to, um, to get that off. There you go. The reason I'm using this spanner and extension is we did one of these recently and I do have two of the um, special sockets but they seem to split when they're really tight and then they won't come off which is very annoying. Right, so our three rusted bolts. We've pretty much split the top of the exhaust manifold and downpipe. If you have a look down here then, the last remaining bits, the exhaust, you see that bracket there, that just needs to come off. I think that will fail the turbo downpipe anyway. So unfortunately that is accessed from underneath the car, two 17 millimeter bolts onto the gearbox and I think they're very tight, so good luck. <laughs> yeah. So basically we had to cut, we got the bottom of the manifold off. We had to cut the bracket where it mounts to the gearbox so it could give it a little bit of flex so then we could push the bottom half of the exhaust manifold into the bracket to bend it and then just yank it up. I've got a bad back. Rob's got metal in his mouth. So, Fuckiness. someone forgot to push record. Let's do this all over uh, again. Are you still wearing safety specs as well? Yes. <laughs> Whip them off It's the not end. easy being breezy. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, all the bits are removed then that we need to get off from the original car. Uh, so, let's go over a quick recap uh, for the second time. Intake manifold removed, airbox removed. They asked you to label this, which is the intake air temp sensor, but I've left the sensor on so I just know what it is, flap that over there. Um, hardest bit is the manifold, real pain in the arse, probably taken us about four hours, um, but we are on jack stands and I have bought a load more tools for the second night, <laughs> so um, would really recommend if you are doing jack stands to get yourself an air hammer so you can smash through that bracket. Yep. Angle grinder. Angle well. grinder. 100% angle grinder. If you Impact haven't got one, gun. you need one. And a load of penetrant spray. Um, in an ideal world, you'd just be able to take the bracket off from the gearbox housing. I am either too weak or too ill-willed to, to do that. So um, we have just chopped it off and 
yes, yeah, looks a bit shit, but once I get um, once I get the clutch fitted, which I'm not going to be doing ourselves, I'll just ask them to remove that bracket. So that's not a problem, it'll be temporary. And yeah, so what we're going to do next, um, the instructions state to put on the manifold, the G19 manifold, um, but because I am using the G19 dipstick oil return, I'm going to fit that now, and I will show you why. So, um, there's the dipstick, not my little pointy tool. Uh, go to right to the sump, just down there. So once we've got the manifold on and the turbo and the downpipe, there is not going to be very good access. So I'm going to do that now. Well, not now, but next time. And then you can see the bracket, what's left of the exhaust bracket is just there. So when it came out out here, it would have obstructed the downpipe. So we just chopped a bit off that. Hopefully that'll give us enough clearance. Yeah. Nine o'clock on a Tuesday night. I'm going to bed. There's the sump just down here. And there also is a nut. Just down there on the back of this um, earthing strap that we just need to take off. And then we should be able to pull, pull the dipstick out. One that's in my box, and now that is that should be loose. I'm just carefully pressing in the oil turn. Until I get that nut to fit. Back in there. Um, connection for the oil return just down there and I've just bolted it back up using the original hardware. So what I've also gone and bought um, for the down pipe is some uh, exhaust heat wrap. So I'm just going to wrap the top, wrap my other top probably down to about here. I'm just having trouble getting the last bolt. This one's just down in that corner of the manifold. Um, and annoyingly, it's just this silicone hose is blocking the access with the ring spanner. You don't even get on it with a ring spanner. So, do you want to take off the fan? Uh, take off the, the, uh, the fan off the rad. And then we're going to take off the hose just from down there. And there's a little service hatch, and I'm just going to drain the, all the cooling out. Um, and then I can take this hose off. Hopefully it's gonna allow me to get that. Uh... Right, so what I do is I've just chopped to my trusty 14 mil ring spanner in half. Um, it's the only way you've got access to that sort of lower second one in from the left bolt on the G19 manifold, bit of a nightmare, but it's tight now. Um, so I'll just make sure everything else is tight. And then I think we're bolting the turbo on.
I'm just going to fit to this. Here is the oil for the oil drain. Comes with a. Get your focus. This little fitting, and there's a little gasket with it, a couple of bolts. I'm going to bolt it to there, and it's going to be pointing towards the back. Gasket for the turbo, so I'll pop that on. Turbo. And what I'll do is put a nut on just loosely so it doesn't fall off. And we're going to bolt it down with the supplied washers, which are these little locking washers. See what you look like from this angle. This Hello! One, this was someone in six foot seas. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the turbo and manifold downpipe are all fitted, bolted up, and ready to rumble. So, and now we're just going to carry on from the exhaust side, um, removing the EGR, which comes around the back to the inlet, and down there. And then we have this, I think it's this, we need to take off and put a blanking plate on. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Rob's Turbo Build on the Mark II MX-5. I uh, hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, please like and subscribe all the videos and subscribe to our channel, please. It would help us massively. Next up, we're going to be fitting the intercooler and the lines to the turbo, so water, oil, oil return, things like that. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming soon. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs>